Hey, what's happening, everybody? You are live with the Toe Bugs and CJ Cook. What's up, everybody? <laughs> How's it going, CJ? In the doing house. Well. Doing well. Yeah, thanks for joining us, man. Of course, man. Of course. Hey, what's I, I like oh. what you guys do. Yeah. Thank you. What's up, Angel? How are you doing? I'm doing well. I, I, dude, our two-year-old just came in, tried to, he tried to lock down some crazy war uh, with the parents. <laughs> Had to shut it down real quick and let him know, like, daddy's doing Who's his the thing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. Not with him. He's the boss. <laughs> he's, uh, our, he's our youngest of four, so we're kind of, like, letting him have a little more leeway with the others okay. than, than the others. So, How's everybody in chat doing? Oh, I, I need Welcome, to... Welcome, everybody. It's like we got Carol Burgess, Death Like Reviews, Mark Dodson, yeah. Corey Boyd. Lucas, what's up, Lucas? Lucas, another Red Wing. Yeah, Lucas is a big Red Wing guy, and Luke Casey. But he recently got a pair of Hondos that blew his mind. He said, okay. "Yeah, I, I like those." Yeah. How's everybody in chat doing? Oh, I, I need Welcome, to... everybody. <laughs> a little delayed. We're a little delayed, right? Yeah, a little bit of a delay. All right, so glad to see everyone here. We have the very well-known CJ Cook in the house today. He's a fellow YouTuber, yep. fellow, fellow Instagram social media guy, fellow cowboy boot lover, Western okay, hat Western lover. Boots. What's that? Western boots is what I call them. Okay, all right, yeah. And red wings. synonymous to most of us. We all know what we mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> Denim lover. Yes, indeed. Denim, hats, watches, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, watches. Yeah, I wanted watches, to. Watches, yes. If, I was going to see if when you could I, some back, uh, When I'm back home in Indiana, it's motorcycles and guns. Yeah, yeah. All right. But I can't have, unfortunately, uh, a pistol in New York City. It's so, it's so wild. I know. It's so wild. I'm still trying to get used to it because I live in Arizona. Yeah. And it's completely the opposite from, yeah, New York. So. I had to keep, keep my firearms a different place. <laughs> but listen, any of the, if any of the fans, Red Wing fans watching, um, tomorrow, Red Wing uh, is au auctioning on eBay some beautiful stuff at nine, I think they said nine something, 945, 915. I can't remember exactly what. But tomorrow, check eBay, uh, put a little uh, Red Wing search in there. Um, because it's all going for their new that out of fashion um, a campaign that they've been doing, and uh, they sent me the booklet of everything that's going to be on there. Fire guys, <laughs> they're most of it. I want to say probably ninety five percent is mock toes, but they're rare. And it's all going straight to eBay. It's all on eBay because they want they want to be global. Makes it makes sense. You know, because if they just did their site, they don't ship internationally. Sure. Uh, uh -huh. in the bear. so okay tomorrow check it out when you're drinking your green beer <laughs> not 9 a.m you said around I, there yeah it's 9 a.m um i i should double check if it's eastern or central um oh. but uh it's, it's, yeah assume it's eastern you get, you get your bids going if, if if i see something i'm like i'm throwing 800 down 800 <laughs> ah! <laughs> hey uh, so so uh, what boots are you guys wearing right now? Ah, I am wearing the Red Wing uh, 8156. Ah, Jesus, number five there. Oh, those are sweet. This, is, uh, this was a Japanese release. And you got them resold, correct? Uh, I got a leather stack, yeah, because they come with that composite. Nice. Oh, nice. Was that Rufo? So yeah. I saw uh, recently, like, you know, the the instagram the internet it's it's very sneaky very creepy if you do any search for something all of a sudden yeah. you're doing ads or if you're in a store you know you could just be you could go in the store you don't have to do a search on your phone or nothing you just talk yeah um my old lady was getting glasses at warby parker so we i was in the store with her and all of a sudden i'm getting warby parker I'm, i don't even do the search i was just there <laughs> so i saw yeah. the ruko because those came across my my uh, little search yeah i really like them do you 
Those yeah. are like, uh, made in Mexico. Is that what the deal? Yeah, they're made in Leon, but the company is based out of Dallas, where I'm from. So, I mean, I am a little partial to Everything them for that. Good. But, but yeah, I mean, they're they're good boots. They're, um, I mean, they're a Leon boot, you know. Yeah. So, I really like, like them. Like some Lucchese boots are made in Leon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. A lot, a lot of the bigger brands are, you know, like Amer- uh, Rios. They have factory yeah. on both sides mm-hmm. so well rios originally is from mexico from nuevo leon i think the state nuevo leon and then they came over yeah to uh tejas so uh, cj you were telling me about your red wing collection how many pairs have you got now okay i had 106 but I still, <laughs> so if you if you i still have some available on if you go to triple stitch uh, dot com. It's triple, and then the e is a three. Stitch. dot com. You can uh, find yourself uh, a, some rare. I got the Pecos on there. A couple of Pecos, eighty one, eighty eight. That are hard to find. You can't get them in the U S. I have those on there, or not anymore. But my, mine have a leather stack. Ah, so, yeah, nice. Those, right, that's those right. Are available. Uh, I have a, a oral russet Pecos on there. Uh, some mock toes, camouflage. Actually, there's stuff that Red Wing's selling tomorrow that I'm se- that I'm selling on my site. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> it's like I have double exclusive. the rare stuff too. Hey, Steven Swanson said uh, CJ's Takovas Cole came in review was his intro to your channel. Oh yes, yes, yeah. nice. That's really nice. I actually have that here. Um, I have I pulled some um, boots to talk about. Um, A couple pairs of th- those. You know, so. Takova does a really great job marketing. I'll tell you that, man. I oh know. yeah. Like, tip my hat to them. They, we they, all know. <laughs> yeah. Um, and their boots, I unfortunately I have not. <laughs> like I said, I have too many. Um, I have not really broken those in as much as I would have liked to. And I've heard a lot about uh, mine are Cayman Belly, and I I really like exotics, but I I've heard that exotics. Um, can be tricky because they can crease if you're not conditioning. If you don't treat them well, mm-hmm. they can crack. Yep. So mm-hmm. uh, and, you know, I'm really interested in lizard. I don't own any lizard, and I and uh, to me that seems like something that would actually crack if you're not. Yeah, they're one of the worst. Yeah, yeah. Really? Okay. Um. But they look awesome. <laughs> yeah, they do. Like Takova's lizard is like I, I really like that. But um, I started you know working with Planet Cowboy, and she does like custom stuff so it's like for me it's like if i can get a custom boot then i'm like all right let's do that yeah I'm down to go yeah. custom um so yeah i have like a, a lucese that uh i i really like and then i pulled the Dakova ranch road is another one ranch road just launched in a i think it's called an apache boot that yeah i just saw it a couple oh, minutes ago oh, nice that one got like arrows on it and yeah. the shaft i'm gonna get that one. i'm gonna order that <laughs> yeah one. Um, and then I have, um, well, see, I have a, my Westco here, but I wouldn't consider it Western. Um, it is a pull on, but I, it's Northwestern. I, yeah, I wouldn't consider it a West, like a, uh, you know, Southwestern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Western. <laughs> That's wild. But I know people are kind of like people who follow me at Red Wing were kind of like, yo, what happened to this turn? Where, where, yeah, you I know. You know I like, know. That's crazy. Right? Back. Um, and I was trying to say, like the the West Coast that I I've, I've been wearing my my um, 14 inch West Coast a lot, breaking that in because, um, as I was saying before, I have two dogs. I take, pull my boot on, pull my boot off, slip it off to walk them, come in, boom, in and out, in and out, in and out all day. Instead of you know, usually I'm like out and about, like running around the city auditioning, and I can put on like a regular lace up boot and not have to worry about. Yeah, uh, I, I have to admit, I'm I'm that's a big reason why most yeah. of the boots I wear every day now are because yeah. I'm spending so much more time at how at the yeah, house. Exactly. Mm-hmm. They're they're more versatile in every like facet of yeah. footwear. They're just more versatile. So. so that's why you know people are like and also Red Wing didn't release anything for a year, so what do you want to do? <laughs> I know, right? I know. They have they have they have the power to make some really interesting looking pecos. They yeah. do. So yeah. I was trying to find a pair, um, the vintage ones. So I have I have two pairs of vintage Pecos that to me, if you were to take a Lucchese Roper and the Red Wing Roper and you merged them, that's what you would have, um, a vintage. So I, I'm going to, 
I, I need to do a review. I shot part of it already, but I've kind of just been like uh, lazy about just to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've been I've been looking a lot at because I recently well actually this morning I confirmed uh, just an I put an order for a slightly custom just there's one little detail that I changed to it um, to pair of whites and really nice looking I'm looking forward to them ten to fourteen weeks though so you know how that is and uh, that yes that's um, yeah. <laughs> so I was looking at the difference between uh, even Nix does they can do they can make pull on they just don't really advertise it that much Westco and whites they both make it, like a Westco has the Morrison. You have two pairs of those. Um, yeah, Drover, the Drover for uh, uh, whites. Yeah, yeah, and then whites has the Drover, but then they also make the Plainsman. Yeah, with which, the and, yeah, yeah. So I was looking at all the little the shapes of where what do you call it the crown, the part where the yeah. vamp yeah. comes up over your, your metatarsal of your foot, mm -hmm. and I'm just looking at how differently they're shaped. So I don't know between the Drover and the Plainsman. But I know like Westco has almost like the, the same as the engineer where yep. it's almost like a tongue, yeah. you know, to kind of like protect you from the strap. But the Morrison doesn't have a strap. So I was looking at that. And then, uh, yeah, I was just looking at the different pattern cuts and the way they do it. And I'm wondering why and how, because I'm sure each one of those little cuts, cut shapes, uh, you know, is going to affect the way it, it uh, you know, breaks in. Because I know the instep part of any pull on Western boot is a big thing uh, you know a big thing as far as like how your experience is with with breaking so right how how is it on the on those morrisons is it pretty tight because i know it's probably thicker okay. weight than so you know i have two pairs i have one that's half smooth half rough out and one that's full rough out yeah i have the full rough out here and because uh, This one is a bear. This is my left foot. And right here is the worst. It's the engineer pain. I don't know. Have you ever, yep. you know, anyone who's one engineer out there, this digs right here, killer, killer pain right here. Um, the 14 inch that I own, I took them out in the snow. I got them soaking wet. Tread, like it, it, we had like a blizzard that, that week that I got them. So I took them out and I, everywhere I was like walking and kicking up snow, making sure I got slush on them. So those broken like that. These, I haven't done that because uh, it's had the snow. It's, and I'm thinking I may, you know, dip them in water and see what happens, but um, pain, 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 pain. I gotta tell you, uh, just from, from experiencing the Red Wing Engineer yeah. in step, that same kind of discomfort, I, what I did was, and it made a huge difference, was I think, is it Bic, Bicmore that makes a, a little spray called uh, boot stretch yeah and it's some kind of alcohol based formula so you could probably yeah. mix it make it at home with with some uh you know rubbing alcohol and whatnot um but and it's a small bottle so you don't need much but if you you know maybe look into spraying on the inside at least i don't know if it would affect that dark brown the darker brown rough out leather what, what's the name of that color this is just brown Oh, okay. It, yeah. It uh, so it probably wouldn't do much. But obviously, you can uh, you can. Because you know, I'm going out to Colorado at the end of the month, and I'm trying to think. I'm thinking, how many boots am I gonna take? It's getting cold too, man. And then, and then the other reason. one was like, which? I can do three. I think I'd rather because I could wear one there and then pack two. I'd rather not. I'd rather just do two. <laughs> yeah. But um, it'd be cool to have three because I could do you know photos, really cool photos. Um, and then I was thinking I should do those because I have no choice but to wear them and like break them in. Um, That's always at the a same plus. time, you know, I walk everywhere here because it's yeah. New York City. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there I'll be driving or not won't be like walking as much. So they'll kind of be broken in ish. Yeah. At least I'll have them on. Um, so yeah, I'm debating whether I take those or, um, well, I definitely know I'm taking a, a Rio some Mercedes for sure. So. I know you do a lot of walking in the city. Yeah. I mean, geez, how many miles would you say you average per week? Well, before all this, you know. Yeah. Uh, that's a good question per week. Let's see. I would say maybe just like 15 to 18. That's not, maybe? That's, that's not a small. Quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's as much as the people out here in Arizona, you know, do it per week when they make set time aside just to do it. Yeah. Um, no, yeah, because I don't have a car, so I walk everywhere. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so let uh, when, we, when we got into like this, like um, when it was really, really bad here. Yeah. I was walking like to my doctor's appointment. I wasn't taking a train. I was walking to my doctor's appointment, <laughs> stuff like that. Oh, okay. So I did bring. You know, you guys knew we. I, I did get some uh, questions. Yes, bring them on. To get some questions, Woo! just so we have some interest, promising, <laughs> interesting con content. I'm ready. So first question: How long ago did you start your YouTube channel, and why did you start it? I started my YouTube channel, I think it was uh, two years ago now, and I started because um, there were the Red Wing reviews that I watched. They didn't really, oh, I'll give you an example. It was a lot of like this. Yeah, yeah. While you're talking. Yeah. And I was like, slow it down. <laughs> yeah. And, and yeah, so I know you, you always do a, a, an up close. Yeah, like do, do an on kind of thing, show how you style it. So it was just like, I, I didn't see what I wanted to see. So I made it. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, uh, little small little tweaks to the content. Yeah, yeah. You know? So that's and, why I did and, and at the time when I started, I only had 14 moving boots. So I was like, okay, this would be 14 shows. Yeah. And then I started just like, like. Yeah, it got crazy. It got out of hand. I started with one pair, <laughs> one pair of Red Wing, and then I had one pair of Thorough Goods. Yeah, and I just had a line. I had like four different, five different boots, and that was my first YouTube channel, so or my first first YouTube video. Yeah, yeah. So that and, and, okay. So you wanted to start because you wanted the quality of the content to kind of be a little bit more appealing. That makes exactly. sense. And I wanted to be like slow down, just like look at it and and yeah. how. How are you styling it? Like put it up, when you put it on, cause to me, I want to see how it looks on, you know, you can look, cause you can look on a, a company's website and see yeah. angles sold. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Mm -hmm. But actually on feet walking around, that's what you want to see. And I know that J Crew and Gap have done that now with clothing. They'll do like, have like a little video of like a model walking across. Cause you, you want to see how the fabric flows. How True, they, yeah. You know, so like that's, uh, that's something that's important to me. And so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. All right. Bring it on, next one, let's go. Next question. Any other heritage boot brands you are interested in trying out? Whites. Okay. Uh, so you know I have West Coast. Any, anything specific about whites? Because I was able to try them on. Okay. So someone who, who owns like 10 pairs, I went over to his house and he pulled this out and I was trying on and I was like, just so I know where I am, mm -hmm. that his were custom fitted. And so we're similar in size. And so we're lengthwise the same, but I think I and my feet are more narrow than his. So I would probably be uh, a C width and he's a D width, some, some, something like that. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, and you know, Nick's makes a really cool motorcycle boot. Um, so I was eyeing that. Is that like an engineer with the lugs? Not on? an engineer, no, it's a lace-up. Okay, a lace-up. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. It's but so those two, I I there's there's one specific, I was very close. I had it in my hand, uh white's boot that I was like, oh, should I buy it? And I was like, You yeah, don't remember the name of it? You um, don't remember the name of it? The the model name? I do not. It's a lace up, it's a rough out lace up. I don't gotcha, know. Gotcha. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest. I don't know all of the names of the yeah. whites either. Yeah. It's like, I have, my brain is full of red wing numbers. <laughs> yeah. Right. Model <laughs> numbers. Um, all right. Next question. Yeah. With your current cowboy boot collection, which has been the toughest to break in. Okay. So say Western boot, your West. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what I like I said I wouldn't consider West Go to be Western, but that's tough. But I would imagine this one here because I put it on a couple of times, um, and I know that it's going to be um, a little bit tough. This is the Lucese. Um, uh, this is uh, Cayman Belly and Black Cherry. Black Cherry. The Charles, which yeah, is yeah. this is an amazing boot, man. Look at this thing, guys. You've Look had that one a while now. That's awesome. Look at that thing. I, mean, I thought this, you were a Roper guy. This isn't a Roper. <laughs> no. You say, you, don't you? Yeah, you have a lot of ropers, is what I'm saying. I was surprised that that's not a ropers. Where I'm oh, going. No, 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 no. I, I, I like like this. To me, look at that. This is just everything. yeah. It's phenomenal. Yeah, black cherry. The cording on this thing. Ooh, man. So yeah. you know what's interesting? So you know, like, um, well, first, uh, let me know what your next question is, and then before I say the statement, mm, toe shapes. 
What is it? Toe okay. shapes. Okay, okay, so I can talk about this. Um, I was gonna talk about exotic. Yeah. Um, so people who dress and they follow tradition of Western cowboy wear, as I was saying, it's like you match your hat, your belt and your shoes. Mm -hmm. You know, that's mm -hmm. like what they do. I didn't realize like to me, this, this um, black cherry exotic would be like a dress thing to me. Right. And I didn't realize that you wouldn't wear an exotic to church. That's like a bad thing. I didn't realize that. Hmm. I, I read that in an article, like this guy who was like broke down, like this is what like, you know. Oh, like like etiquette? Almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was okay. like, oh, that's interesting. Like to me, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going out to dinner with this. this right. you know, like, <laughs> but I guess you would, but it wouldn't be like, I guess church or, I, I would wear this to a wedding. I'm not, I'm not. I'm yeah. Not. yeah. I guess yeah, I don't yeah. follow etiquette then. Like, like <laughs> right? in a, with a suit? Come on. Yeah. yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so like even like, uh, I like to cuff my my denim because i like to show off the salvage and i just kind of like the way it looks but you're not like you're not supposed to cuff when you wear a western boot because um basically you wear your your pants a little bit longer because when you get on the horse your pants are supposed to still you know yeah. and not have um not show too much of the boot so that's why someone who dresses traditionally is garth brooks he's like a traditionally mm -hmm. he dresses western, like he has like the the pants, belt, like everything is like boom. Takes off his hat when he comes inside. Yeah, you know, he's like a like a, a gentle, like perfect gentleman, uh, cowboy gentleman. <laughs> Dresses the same because I know when I see him in his jeans, I'm like, man, them jeans are too long for you, boy. You need to get that. <laughs> that's too that much of a break for me. Yeah, but that's yeah. just like it's uh, he's old school. Yeah, in Texas, most people yeah, stack their jeans. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. But to me, that looks sloppy. And um, but, yeah, um, I I cuff. I show my I show my. Uh, my my tape, my salvage tape or ribbon, if you will. All right, toe shapes. This is the Lucchese, uh, what do they call this? They call this the Arto. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, let me I, just tell the viewers, uh, the question was, what are, you, what are your top three preferred toe shapes? Okay, Arto, C toe by Lucchese, and then um, I like Tacova's round toe. I think I have a Tacova round toe somewhere here. Let's show you that one. Yeah, Nick, you dropped. This is the Tacova round toe. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is this is the. It's uh, similar to the Lucchese R toe, in my opinion. Yeah, this is the um, mm -hmm. the Cayman belly in the brown ro brown roper Cayman mm -hmm. belly yeah, Tacova, which is yeah. they just do a good job designing. People hate on them, but they. Yeah, well, everyone's gonna hate on everybody for yeah. everything. Um, so. and I, this. This red wing here, the red wing that I'm wearing, this is like a pretty good, this is a cool toe. Yeah. You yeah. Know? I like them. I like, I like those there. I don't like their, their steel toe pull on boots are a little bit more bulbous. Oh yeah. 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 But yeah. yeah, a lot of the Pecos toes I like from yeah. red wing. So those are my, my, my favorites. Nice. Uh, let's see. Let's talk toe bugs. Is there any way to change your mind about toe bugs? I would do a tow bug if I lived outside of New York City. Okay. Makes the sense. people who wear tow bugs in New York City are usually girls mm. and guys who are like um, really fashion forward. Yeah. And it's not like a boot they wear every day, but they're just like, oh, this is my stylish cowboy boot. I'm going to wear this. My, out. Yeah. Like my. So, um, for me, it's just like, yeah, I, I'm not in New York City. Outside of New York City, if I lived somewhere else, I would have a, a tow bug. So it it would it would be Midwest South. It would be mm, it wouldn't right. be like, like where I'm from in Indiana. Yeah, people don't work out. But one, yeah, you, you don't find companies there. You got to go south. Like yeah. For me. So yeah, no, no tow bugs. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I, you know I ever since learning of like your opinion on on toe bugs now that i know why it's a little kind of like an etiquette um in relation to your uh your region you know yeah. uh, and that's completely understandable um and obviously everyone's gonna have your their opinions about your opinion yeah um, so so for me like the honest truth is i dress for the ladies and in new york city if you wear a cowboy boot with a toe bug they're gonna be like what's up with the cowboy boots yeah. and then you got to go through a whole explanation <laughs> yeah, you're really, yeah you're really going to get that comment you're like oh yeah he's cute yeah. but what's up with the cowboy boots <laughs> you know, so like 
you could wear this and you have, you know, your jeans and, and actually when I wore these, I got a lot of eyes with these. Like the, the, there was like, oh, nice boots. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so bug, it, it changes everything. Yeah. It, no, it does. Especially it on a, like like a, exotic... get a with the square toe. Cause you're not getting any girls with a square toe up here. Not up here. Square if toe. I lived up there, we might have to put a friendly bet. Up. <laughs> No square toe. No square toe. I'd be down for a friendly <laughs> just to just to prove the point. Especially you know? if it's a, a double. What is that? The uh... the double stitch. Yeah. Bye. But what about <laughs> Nick's West Coast whites? They all do that. No, no, not a square with a double. Come on. Oh, gotcha. I hear you. Yeah. Quack, quack, quack. I'll throw some we'll bread and crackers at you. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Now <laughs> we're both married, and you know, all in good fun. Um, so. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, honestly, we all have our opinions about and preferences. I like certain toe bugs, uh, certain brands. I like their toe bug. I like, I like uh, Chisos no. toe bug, you know? Yeah. I, the way I like, they're, you know, I like they're, Chisos does. I would, I would like right. to own a pair. What's that? I would really like to own a pair. I like everything they do. Yeah. Yeah. No, they're, uh, Will's a great guy. He's actually yeah. our next yeah. guest. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So tune in. Yeah, um, like yeah but there's other brands that just their toe bugs they just don't speak to me you know what i mean yeah um, i like to draw i'm into art so if there's something about you know the aesthetics that don't kind of reach me right and also point. they serve a purpose it's yeah no, not just true. the decoration to actually serve a purpose like exactly. like um like cording on on the shaft serves a purpose as do mm -hmm. yes okay Let's see. Oh, right. Did we already talk about this? I don't think we did. Cause I, I, I wanted to get into the questions before we started jumping all over the place. Uh, what is your grail boot? And we, we try to ask this to all of our guests. Grail boot as in uh, either a boot that you haven't seen done yet or a boot that you like, but you would change about it that already exists. Something that, you know, if money wasn't a thing or uh, you know what I mean? Within reason. If you had the power to design your own boot, what would a grail boot? I did. Be? <laughs> Can you Which show one? it? Yeah. I mean, I've seen the video, but our viewers may not have. Oh yes. Okay. Well, because I remember there was the Holy Grail was the Red Wing uh, Iron Spitfire or Iron Ranger. Yeah. yeah Forty-five. Forty-five. Yes, the forty-five. Yeah, I finally 45. got that one. So this one is what I designed. It was supposed to have uh, uh, stitching on here, but they did. Yeah. So he, you've got a video on that one where you explain yeah. uh, how you source the leather, and yeah. we don't even go into the details. Um, go over to CJ's channel and yep. check his YouTube. Yep. Channel. I've put the link to his channel and his Instagram down in the description. Sweet. So I actually have. So yeah. So if I were to say Grail, that's a really good question. I mean, I like. How are those breaking in? How are those breaking in? By the way. I've only worn them once because the weather wasn't good enough to like. Um, that's that's the like, thing about gray leather is yeah, rain and, and all that. The tonal change. Uh, right quick. Rios makes a boot that has like a a, a uh, Indian on the shaft, and they're available. Like you could probably see them now at west westbh.com. Those are really nice, but I wouldn't say it's a grail, but something that like, I, th I would say anything super custom. Like I go in and get fitted for a Western boot mm -hmm. and you know, you're, and it's going to be like two grand. That's yeah. like, yeah, that's like a grail, like something like that. Where I our our joke between Angel and I is it's always the last one we saw. <laughs> yeah. It changes every yeah. subject to change. It changes like, daily. A asterisk on the bottom yeah. list. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. If I like a boot, I just buy it. Hey, uh, Rick Jansen wants to know which one of you two stole each other's style first. <laughs> I stole CJ's. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. Um, it's it's so interesting because I I have taken a lot of inspiration from your styling cues and um, going going switching coincidentally like your journey into like pull-on boots was right around kind of my you know timing wise 
And so it was a lot of fun kind of watching you and all the different pairs. It's like an, every week you have another pair, yeah. uh, either a completely different brand or just a different hide or different something like that. And you're, you, like you said, you, you're really good at bringing up all the, the, the finer details about the builds of, of all these boots. Um, so you did help me learn quite a bit about, uh, you, you know, like just basing off of your opinion mostly, right? Um, you know, just from littlest things like you, I think it was your first pair of pull-on boots that had a raised heel. Oh yeah. Or maybe it was like an maybe it was an engineer that you got the the heel lifted yeah, on. Switched, yeah. Um, yeah, and I was like, yeah, that's uh, you know, we I think we talked in the comments about it. Yeah. But um, yeah, there's just uh, the the style is something that. I don't know. You and I, we, we've always kind of floated in the comments. We, we, yeah. we DM and everything. Um, I get a lot of the style from my dad because my dad dresses, you know, kind of like kind of like the way you dress, honestly. Um, less button ups, though. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so where do you get a lot of your inspiration from? Because hmm. I spend a lot of time looking at pictures. I've always been yeah. into stuff like that. And that helps me with my product design too. Get a lot of inspiration. The thing about the thing about style, and I know uh, um, people who may want to like transition or change their style or uh, explore a different style. The thing is, you have to be comfortable because if you're not comfortable, it shows. Yeah, a lot of people when I'm out and I have on a hat. They say, "Oh, I like your hat," and and I say, "Oh, it's." I'll tell them the brand or whatever, and they'll say, "Oh, I can never wear a hat." And I'm like, "Of course you can." It's like yeah. it's just confidence. Yes. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like a lot of people will they compliment me on my different hats that I wear, but they won't ever do it because I think they feel they may feel silly. They'll feel yeah. insecure. They'll feel mm -hmm. like oh, like a hipster or whatever. I don't know whatever you want to call it. And if you feel that, everyone else is going to see that. Yeah. Absolutely. So you have, number one, you have to feel comfortable in whatever it is um, you want to wear or however you want to change your style to look. Mm -hmm. Number two is fit. You have to dress like everyone has different body shapes. Um, so you want something for me, it wants to be uh, tailored. I don't like anything to be too, too baggy. Um, I like it to be a little bit tailored. Um, I like uh, a straight jean. I don't, actually, I did a commercial for something that, or like this, uh, this ad that's coming out uh, soon for like a sports betting thingy. And I would go in the stylist. She put me in these skinny, skinny white jeans. I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I would, like put them on. I'm like, all right. And then she gave me a, a green hoodie of like a big green hoodie. And I was like, wow. Ah. And so I, remember, I was like mingling with the other actors who were there and they only saw me in, in this, these white pants and this hoodie. And then, so I wrapped and they're like waiting for their time to go on set. And so I come out and get back into my, my Rios uh, Mercedes. And I think I was wearing jeans and some shirt, some of this. And I think I had on a uh, field, uh, uh, a chore coat. And I'll come back out and I'm like, all right, see you guys. And they're just looking at me like, oh, wow, this guy's totally different than like, you know, how he's looking. And I was like, all right, see you guys. Have a good, you know, break a leg. Da, 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 da. But yeah, it's like, I wasn't comfortable and, you know, but you're playing the character, so who cares? You know, who cares? But like, you definitely just need to be comfortable. And then we're yeah. comfortable, you get confident. Definitely, man. Yeah, definitely. Big shout out to you, CJ. Um, I've always, I've always wanted to kind of try my try my, you know shoot my shot at like modeling and, and stuff like that and you know i've reached out to you and kind of asked for some pointers and yeah. um you you didn't hesitate man i appreciate that you were really, really, really good dude really good dude, really yeah. good dude. i'm i uh yeah no, so i value there's a lot of person. things that like you know people reach out to me all the time mm -hmm. things that that i do that um um i don't really talk about like someone says I can't afford red wings. I'm like, what's your size? There you go. Yeah. Um, someone wanted to sell their boots because they needed money. I was like, don't sell those. <laughs> those are too nice. <laughs> I was like, this is the price you would get for them. Keep your boots. Yeah. So like, 
Yeah, man, I'm, I'm always down to help people. Like if I know, like, I know you, I know you, or, you know, I know you're not like, you know, trying to be like a, you know, a grifter or whatever. And just like, yeah, I'm, I'm always down to help somebody out. Cause like, not like it's been hard for everybody. It has. And so yeah. like, uh, I'm always down to help somebody. Oh, that's great. That's yeah. great to hear, man. That's great to hear that you're already in this circle. Now we know this about you. So it's kind of, <laughs> yeah, like, dude. It it's just, you just, I just you, like, like it's for me, like it doesn't pay to be mean, it doesn't pay to be negative. It's just like positivity all the way. Yeah. Give, 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 give love, yeah. give support. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just the way like that's what we gotta do, man. That's the best way for a community to strive, man. For everybody to help each other out. Exactly. If you know somebody personally, you know, hit them up, throw a log on the fire, and you know, see how they're doing. Gen and be genuine about it. You know yeah. what I mean? Um. So let me let me go to the next question. Go ahead. How has okay? So we know most of us know you are a model. Yeah, you do like commercials yeah. and you know products stuff like that. Um, how has your line of work been affected by the pandemic? So everything is like done from all of my auditions are done from home, all over Zoom or self tape, and I send it out. I have something tomorrow afternoon for egg. Uh, Eglin, Eglin's best. I have an audition for that tomorrow. Okay. But everything is like, like this. You, you know, reading lines, reading copy, um, and then like, if you get it, you gotta get it tested, mask on, get on set, mask off, mask on again. It's just everything's very like. Yeah. Everything yeah. changed. There was like a whole. What was it, like two months, three months of nothing. Yeah. Um, but then now it's like picking up and. I'm, I'm glad everyone's kind of starting to work and starting to um, production starting back up. Yeah. Well, it's been it's been back up, but I'm I'm glad that it's still going. Um, so yeah, it was it was rough. Did you ever have any moments of uh, like panic as far as you know? No. <laughs> no, I remember June. I had my first like there was like nothing, and then June I had my first um, uh, print shoot. Um, it was print and video. And I was just like, yo, I'm back. But I like had gained weight. I was like, I wasn't working out. I was eating whatever. So I was a little like. That must have been before I, I saw on one of uh, your story not too long ago. You were at the at the gym doing something. You were doing some kind of workout. Yeah, because the gym was closed. So I I, I could have worked out in my in my in my unit, but I was lazy. I was like, ah. like <laughs> eating whatever, you know, drinking whatever. But uh, now I got to get back in it. So gotcha. now I was like, I needed to work out and eat right. Um, so yeah, it was rough. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily we're in this, this stage of yeah. where technology is in our everyday. Yeah, exactly. It's lots of brands, lots of businesses, lots of companies have been able to transition, you know, just yeah. enough to kind of not really stress out too bad. So yeah. that's, uh, it's good to know that you, you know, you didn't have any downtime too much. So <laughs> Um, do you have any custom boots in the works that we can keep an eye out for? So I have actually here, I can show you. Let me move this stuff out of the way. I should have started that question by saying, we all know there, if you don't know, you can go check out CJ's channel. He's got numerous custom boots that he's worked together with Planet Cowboy and Rio Sa Mercedes. Uh, Wesco and uh, did you say Brian the Bootmaker? No, 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 Brian. Bootmaker. Brian <laughs> Bootmaker. That's some good stuff. Okay, know. so uh, the Red Wing Beckman. Everyone who's a Red Wing fan knows the Red Wing Beckman. Yeah, I have a a skin here of the chestnut. Ah. This, is the, this is the chestnut Beckman, the nine, the ninety thirteen, right here. Yes, yes. So. Uh, I'm going to do something with that, probably very similar to what Planet Cowboy did um, for me. Oh, she made me a belt too. Yeah, with, the matching belt. I had belt? so much leather. She made me a belt. Did you see that? You showed it on the video. Yeah. Yeah. And then I also have Black Cherry. This is the black. This is the 9014 leather. Leather. Rough that one. right here. <laughs> nice. Okay. So I have a really whole, pretty. Yeah. Whole, so I'm not. I'm not. I don't know if I'm gonna do a rough out or I'm gonna do the 
Yeah, how's the texture on that rough out? Is it pretty like rough? It needs work. Like, uh, it needs some brush to, to lift it. Yeah. So it would. I was kind of thinking that I do a half and half because they do look good together. Um, right, right. Or do I do you know kind of like I did with the gray? But those two are gonna go to Planet Cowboy. Some she uses a guy in Texas um, to that make black them. cherries. Yeah, the black cherry is gonna go first. Nice. Because I bought the chestnut and then, hold on, I'll show you. <clears throat> as soon as I bought the chestnut, these arrived and I forgot I, I forgot I ordered these. <laughs> which so ones are those? The chestnut Rios uh, Blackhawks. Oh, the Blackhawks. Okay. Yeah. These are, these are fantastic. The toe is really nice to put that. Do you have the baseball glove ones? Can I you do. hold those yeah. next to each other? I wanted to see. Oh yeah, that. those baseball glove ones are awesome. Yeah, yeah. 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 If you I played second, baseball in college, so that's a big deal to me. Yeah, give me a second. I'll grab them. Very cool. Very cool, man. It makes it really easy with you know his like experience in front of the camera. Yeah. It makes everything go smooth. So. Yeah, he's showing us up right now. Hey, Steven Swanson, I'm still trying to get mine off, man. Hey, do, your, uh, your volume on your mic, is that adjustable? It seems like it's a little bit higher than normal. Is it? Maybe maybe, just, maybe, you're, maybe you're just really close to the mic. Yeah, maybe I was doing that. <laughs> yeah. How's this? Is that better? Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. I just, I noticed a few times, I was like, whoa. <laughs> it is, but... I'll just sit back. I don't want to mess with it right now. I'll probably screw something up. So yeah, I was a I, uh, I put an order in for a pair of whites. That's their and it's their their cowboy boot version. Yeah. And uh, ten to fourteen weeks, but I I don't want to put any more information out because it will really. Good. If you see my story, you'll you'll see them. But yeah, I'm gonna wait to uh, do a YouTube video on them. All right. So I had the same concern as, as you when these arrived because the baseball, here they are. Mm -hmm. Those are awesome. Are just, I've been wearing these a lot. I really like those. I've been wearing these quite a bit. Um, there you go. Okay. So they are a little bit lighter, the yeah. Chestnut Blackhawks. The, the Chestnut Blackhawks are like... These feel like 875 leather. Right uh, okay. So like Oro Legacy? Yeah. Yeah. The, the baseball glove one looks almost like a new book like yeah it has a new book texture yeah yeah um this is this is definitely a smoother softer um more it feels porous gotcha okay uh super porous so All more readable then but this feels super porous nice um so yeah this says uh if you see the shaft this has like the stitching and this has very minimal stitching just at the very top i believe you see mm -hmm. yeah yeah compliment. but yeah i had that same concern i was like damn it i just got these and they're the same <laughs> i would assume you'd be feeling like that with all those rough outs that you have the other the one of your videos recent videos you had like i think three of rios oh yeah rough outs yeah. is that what you have three or do you have four of the kind of similar uh rough outs? two that are really similar in the cut in the color the uh the ones with the lug sole and then the ones that i got from planet cowboy yeah, the work, the work boot ones. Yeah, yeah. Those are uh, those are pretty nice looking. Yeah, those are. Really so, nice. so you've been wearing a lot of those baseball gloves. I've been wearing these a lot. Yeah, those are from Kimosabi, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, you can see that they're like you know got some good uh, scratches and good wear. Nice, nice. Quite a lot. I kept them by the door, but um, I have. Uh, I usually keep all my my boots by the door, but we have two foster uh, puppies right now. Just gonna segue into no it. boots are left by the door. <laughs> <laughs> so, have you experienced it with with foster uh, pups before that they like leather and? Oh, when I when I wear these because these are my house boots. Uh huh. Um, these okay. are not these have never gone outside. So I have I'll be sitting down at the dining table and the little one will come over and start chewing on them. Yeah. Oh man! <laughs> and I'll just look at her and I'll be like. I didn't know you wanted I, to die today. I had a pair of Timberland, the Constructs, 
years ago, back when I lived in Pennsylvania. Yeah. And my dog got to it. He chewed it up and took a dump in it. So I was like, <laughs> that's the matter you what to do to him. I know, right? I left my closet door open is what I did. <laughs> he, he used to have really bad uh, separation anxiety. So oh, yeah. I think that's what it was. I must have done some, went to the corner store for yeah, five my, my old lady got her, her, the, um, her heel. She had a pair of like these little booties from Rag and Bone. And mm-hmm. she chewed the entire wood stack. Or, oh, sorry, man. Another stack. Just chewed the liar. Oh, man. Oh, Luckily, it was just that. You could get that replaced pretty She's easy. awesome. Gotcha. So I had, it's funny, we're t- so fostering dog. My last dog is a rescue. You've seen my blue nose. Um, but before we ended up with him, we took another guy home, you know, full grown, uh, really sweet. And then once we got him home, he wasn't, something wasn't right. He wasn't right for us. Um, crying all night in his kennel. The next morning, my wife, my wife and I are like, man, that was loud. Hopefully it gets better tonight. We're getting ready for work. And he bit onto my wife's uh, like boot, like chewing on it. Yeah. At first it was like friendly little chewing. Then she kind of pushed him and he grabbed her arm with the sweater. And this was a full grown, like hundred, hundred pound pit bull uh, mix yeah. from that, which we didn't know him. And uh, I yelled at him and he kind of turned to me and kind of snarled and stuff but i don't play that stuff um and that was sketch that was very sketch um so yeah we've had two instances with dogs and and boots but um (laughs) we ended up with this guy and this so you know we took him back you know i was crying and everything i'm like man hopefully he finds a home you know because i love dogs and uh we ended up with this guy he's really he's he's hyper but he's so chill he's really nice so uh next question next question yeah what oh i think you already covered this which one but i think we can come back around to it what advice do you have for individuals looking to switch up their style game but are unsure if they could pull it off i know you said you know confidence um but i I have to say like i have to piggyback on top of that is i think the content you put out is good for this you know and there's other youtubers that do a great job at that as well um Nick is Nick is one you're starting to do stuff outside of uh, like square toes. You've done a few Tacobas, Rujos with the, the traditional round toe. Yeah. Um, and I think my 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 content has kind of transformed too. You know, it started with red wing mock toes. Now I'm doing uh, you know, what am I doing? Cheezos reviews. Um, but I do have to say that confidence is definitely something you have to you have to put faith into it for it to get that, the growth to, to start happening when your confidence starts growing, you know, but it takes a switch that you have to flip. You have to find that switch. A lot of times it's pushing yourself out of your comfort zone for a bit and just reminding yourself that, you know, I'm doing this because I want to, I'm doing this because I'm going for this look. I'm doing this. Because well, yeah, you have to, you have to, I'm not doing it for you. Right. I'm doing it for me. Yeah. yeah. You have, you have to ask that question is like, why, why are you doing this? yeah and yeah who are you doing it for it's it's been fun though like the whole journey with like you were talking about denim and uh finding your size in 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 garments and pants and stuff like that that's another thing um that helps you that's all it's all part of your journey is uh you know finding your style developing it you know letting it transform on its own um so denim what what is your favorite denim pants size like i'm not not size but uh fit you know i don't okay so um i i have a lot of um the uh japanese salvage denim from the gap because it was priced really well and the quality was was nice okay um but like your go-to size, if you had a size that you would go to, what's your like your favorite one? That's like you know the most versatile. Probably if if something's called slim straight. Yeah, that's what I would go for because I don't I don't like anything that's too snug, um, and I don't like anything too baggy. So Got slim it. straight to me is perfect. So um, to new Denim, they may they have a a a, a jean called the Pablo. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really like that. 
uh, grown and sewn, their canvas pants, I think are really great fit. Okay. Yeah. I know you've got a few pairs of those. Um, and then, um, uh, what am I wearing today? Oh, I'm, I had, I'm wearing custom, custom denim today that I had made. Um, I, if you, I love like custom stuff. <laughs> it's like, can you make this? Okay, great. Make it. Um, I'm wearing grease point workwear custom denim. Okay. Grease point, um, some good stuff. Yeah. So these, what I like is these are salvaged, but they're, uh, they have the pockets here. Yeah, I like a trouser kind of pocket yeah. on the side. Easier to get to when you're sitting. Easier to yeah. get into when you're sitting. Like that's it's kind of like an old school kind of like. Um, so mm -hmm. that's I have these custom because the, he makes them. He he does like a, a double thing here where it's down to the knee, and I was like, just don't do that and don't put a knife thing in it. So this is like a straight. <laughs> oh, the double knee, kind of like the double. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I don't want any of that reinforced knee or the or the knife pocket. I was like, just give me something, you know. So, um, Imogene and Willie, do you know that brand? This is oh yeah. Yeah, I do. those guys, they make a really nice uh, uh, slim straight is is the size that they're, they have names of their, I can't think of the name. I don't know if it's a Barton, but mm -hmm. those guys are great. Gotcha. Um, so I like those small companies, USA made as a plus for me always. Yeah. Um, small, like, you know, these mom and pop ones. So like Grown and Sewn is USA, uh, Imogene and Willie is USA. Grease point that he's in he's in Oregon doing his own thing so I like all that stuff um I like supporting you know like um USA companies small mom and pop things yeah man yeah there's, although uh, to the name is in uh in um Amsterdam yeah that's right but there's a lot of there's, there's definitely great craftsmen in denim in clothing yeah. in footwear even you know but yeah. um, always a plus when you can you know, support local. Yeah. Because every dollar that stays in your community is going to, you know, help your community in one way yeah. or another. Um, you know, there's, I don't, I don't have anything bad to say about other countries because that's not what it's about, but ethics and practices is kind of a thing with me. Like I try to, you know, if there's, well, this for me, this is the thing. If I'm going to, I don't mind paying 200, $300 for something made in the U S and for mom and pop, because I know that it's going into their business. Like yeah. mm -hmm. versus like, I'm not paying $300 for something that's made overseas, especially in Asia, because they're paying the person who made it nothing. Right. You know what I mean? So for me, like, I don't like that. So that's why I'm like, yeah, for $300 in American media, yeah, sure. Done. Yeah. You got, you got it. You got my money. That's you know? true. Versus, yeah. You know, there's, there's, like, yeah, there's, yeah, there's, out like next, next. Yeah, there's like, uh, so, okay, let me share this. I went into Tacovas. This is yeah. more of an update for everybody. I went to Tacovas for the first time into one of their stores. This is their newest store. I don't know if this is their only store in Arizona, but it's their newest store. Okay. And it was, del it was delayed because of the pandemic. They were supposed to open, you know, months before they actually did. Anyway, I told myself I was going to get in there. And uh, my wife and I, we were talking about getting her, uh, her first pair of like traditionally built boots. And so we went into Tacovas and uh, this was in Scottsdale. So this is the nicest part of Arizona. Okay. The nicest city. And so it's in one of the very like luxury, uh, shopping center not shopping like outdoor mall really um we go in it so it's me her we walk in and um uh, it was all guys that worked there and uh did, nobody was rude or anything like that but you know and i of course you know me i'm all hovering all over my lady like i can answer all her questions i don't need the guys help right <laughs> and so i'm helping her and they get they can kind of tell after like the third like little thing that he says i kind of give him a look like yeah 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 not like get out of here but like yeah yeah i know yeah <laughs> um but we weren't even done like checking out yet and these guys were like huddled in the corner and they're like oh man 10 more minutes bro or like it was like 15 more minutes to till like closing time or something I'm like really dude? <laughs> that's like that come on man you could do better than that you know what i mean like when you want customers to have a good experience don't be in the corner, like within earshot talking about yeah. what time it is to, to, to clock out. Cause you're doing this and they're doing that. Um, so that was the only bad thing about it. Everything else, you know, the stores, it looks really good. The guys were polite and everything. I just, it was just that one little thing, you know, did they, did um, they give you a beer? 
they didn't they didn't serve me a beer but it was fine because we were going to dinner like right on the other side of the little street okay. so did y'all buy boots yeah so she ended up getting the navy i don't remember the name of it uh the navy just the the women's pull up uh it's not like their snip toe it's uh or i don't know how many toes they have it was their suede navy suede and just a, a brown sole really nice boot i, I love it and blue is yeah. her favorite color it was yeah. between that and like their uh was it their uh, the honey suede, whatever that one is in the mm-hmm. females line? It was a toss between those. And I was like, the honey suede ones look generic. They look like, you know, any other boot brand. You can find a pair yeah. in anywhere that looks like yeah. that. The navy, I like it. It had a lot of character in it with the it was actually really for suede. It was actually like the 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 what do you call it? The uh the hairs of it, the fuzziness. It was like yeah, it was, it was uh, more, yeah, it was yeah. more fuzzy. So I liked it. It wasn't like a short suede so i i was like those are the ones she liked them and she's liking them so far so hopefully because we bought her a pair of iron ranges a few years ago but she couldn't do the breaking process really wasn't, yeah it wasn't agreeing with her foot so she's she's got she's got she's got a, a different shape it's it's a little bit different like i i think she would be more happy in a d width so okay because the leather for women's is much softer it's not the same yeah no, you're right. You're right. And they even have like cushion soles. Yeah. So, but I think, you know, I think it would have been either like a D with, but if you compare it to like a pair of Tacovas, like their suede, yeah. that's, I mean, that's stretching right away. So, well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Cause I don't know, if, uh, Red Wing for women, if it's a rough, if it's a rough out or suede versus Tacova uses suede. Cause there's a difference between rough mm-hmm. out and suede. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's all suede that they have there. Did I say rough out? Did I confuse? No, no. You? I'm just saying because oh, okay. if you mentioned Red Wing and it's and it's uh, rough out because they right. they won't shave. Yeah. Out. No. Yeah. No. No. It was uh no. It wasn't a rough out that she had. It was a. Uh, it, it was close to the amber eight, harness. It, did it look like the eight one one three? Um. It might have. It might have. So it was that was like a new buck, maybe. I think I. It was a few years ago, so I don't even remember. It was a brown one. I don't oh. know if. It, yeah, I don't know if it was like the more like a copper rough and tough or like more like a amber harness. Like how, how many how many uh kids does your did your wife give birth to? Four kids. Yeah, yeah. She's breaking a pair of boots. Come on now. I know, I know. But uh, you know, she's 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 a sneakerhead. So you know what I mean? <laughs> Grow up wearing sneakers. It's, it's something you gotta prepare for, you know. <laughs> but you've been wearing boots since you were a kid. Yeah, and so have you, Nick. I think we've all yeah. been wearing boots since we were kids. Absolutely. I was a, I was the kid that in my generation we s- traded shoes like skate like my boys that we all skateboarded we would trade skate shoes for a week or you know even for keepsies but um, I was always into like up and down with sizing and everything like that so yeah. I can make my foot uh, suffer for for you know for the look if I need to yeah <laughs> what you got what else um. I think you know your favorite denim. I think we picked. Yeah. Your, did you say you said well anything mainly small batch? Small yeah, slim batch. straight. I like slim straight. Yeah, the slim straight. Yeah, that's my, that's I like my. slim straight. The the rise has to be tall enough though. Okay. I'm going. I'm leaning towards a more high rise. You know, as I get older and I start tucking my shirts more in more. So, that was it for questions. Right. Um, I definitely had a lot of fun. Nick, yep. did you have anything else? No, you covered everything, brother. I'm, I'm, you know, I covered all my questions. I'm sure there's a million more as soon as we we hang up here. But you know yeah. how that goes. Yeah. So we're looking forward to your next uh, piece of YouTube content, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah. Um, Thank you guys for inviting me on the show. Yeah. Hey, really appreciate you coming on. Yeah. 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 We definitely uh, opened up <laughs> the side of CJT. Hold on. I want to ask. I want to ask you because I saw your review or your attempt of a review, what were you trying to do with that shoe box where you kept going back and forth and you kept cursing at the, like, what was, what were you trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> I kept, so I have a little side table, right? And yeah. the first time I bumped that with it and then on my table in front of me, I had, you know, the boots. Yeah. And so I pulled it up and I like hit the was boot the, on the, the next take. Box. Yeah, with the box. Yeah. And then oh, the I third time, I leaned back and I hit the damn guitar with my hat. And it was just like, it was just a cluster, man. It was getting on my nerves. Because I, I didn't, I couldn't tell any of 
like I didn't couldn't tell the guitar. I couldn't tell. I was yeah. just like, what? I was like, what is? Yeah. That? It didn't really come through on the on the video, it was but funny. But I was just like, what? I was like, what are you trying to? Yeah, I, you know, one of the blue I thought it was going to be totally obvious every time I did something, but on the video, you can't even hardly tell. Was it a, a, one of the one of the uh, blooper reels? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, know. okay. Yeah. yeah. Was, it was with the Chisos. Yeah, it was the Chisos one. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right, man. All right. I, we all got things to do, but we're going to do this again, hopefully, maybe, if we have something interesting enough to bring yeah. up. Yeah, man. When, when I get the black cherry boots. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we got to get yeah. those on. Um, have a safe trip to Colorado. Enjoy your trip, right. man. Um, Thank safe you. travels. Yeah, and have a, have a good time. Hopefully the weather's mm -hmm. on your side. You know what I mean? Yeah, that I'm hoping too, man. It's like I, I had it canceled. It can't, got canceled on me because of the COVID. And so now it's like, you know, back on. And I saw that they got hit with like two feet of snow last week. I'm like, please melt and be nice. But uh, <laughs> Hopefully we get some really cool photos of like a beautiful background. It'd be my first time in Colorado. It's been cold and windy these last like two weeks in Arizona. So, so I'm hoping for the best weather for you, you Nick out in Texas. Yep. We're having good weather right now, but all right. Well, I guess till we meet again, thank you, CJ. Right, thank you, guys. Angel. Thank, thank you to everybody in chat. You guys have a good night. Have a good night, and we will see y'all next week for Live on the Toe Bugs. <laughs>